Sydney. And now he said he has a watch. What is up team fighters and welcome back to another episode. So on this episode, it's a bit different. We head to a scare attraction in Burton-on-Trent. Now this scare attraction is inspired by our videos. So it would be rude not to go and check it out. And you may have already guessed from the start of the video. It gets a little bit creepy. Hope you enjoy and a happy Saturday guys. Okay, so right now, Bucky won't go on his own. Bucky won't. But this was actually inspired from our, our videos. So I'm going to go in on my own for the first time, see what it's like. Then we'll go through as a group. And then we'll probably get our Instagram shots. But tell Bucky, write in the comments now right now. Bucky, go in. Don't be soft. Come on, Bucky. <laughs> you got to go I've in. I've never done one before, so I don't know what to expect. <laughs> I don't do one. Ex stuff. Expect to be scared. The three of us can go in as a group if you want. No, that's not fair. That's not fair. Right, wish me luck. Okay. Right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Which one did you want? All right. So what? What's this? Which one do you want? Okay, I'll take that one. This one. Sure. Yeah. Oh, it stinks in here. in here, absolutely stinks. Wow, that looks weird. That looks like a floor. Oh, oh shit, he's a real person. Get out of here.
God. Oh, shit. Oh, oh it stinks in here. Oh. Terrifying. Bro. <laughs> you don't even know. You gotta go in there, Bucky, please. Go on, Bucky, please. Everyone leave a comment right now. Bucky, go in there. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's a chainsaw at the end. It's good. Honestly, go and get yourself in. Bit, I think was a bit with Oh, Bucky's going! Oh, Bucky. Good luck, Bucky! 
Good luck. Oh, I think the best bit was with the people in the cages, like the people being prisoner. It's all right. She, she was terrible. All right. All right. All right. She had to take it. I'm sitting there screaming at everyone. They scare you then. Yeah, but the thing is, that's what made them. The funny thing is, I've never seen. I know. I've never seen Olivia scared. That's the funny thing. <laughs> Out of every window. Usually doesn't get scared. <laughs> She's shaking. <laughs> Which bit did you find the scariest? Uh, all of it! All of it! <laughs> oh, What do you think then? It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Do, do you not think it's like a proper abandoned building in there? Like the smells and everything. Oh, it's so good. I'm wet. See? I'm wet. <laughs> I'm wet. I'm wet. Oh, so good. Right, so right now we're in one of the other attractions. Now, this attraction is set on like American hillbillies. It's been like a zombie apocalypse and they're putting the zombies on shore. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, they made a zoo out of the old zombies that got taken over. It's hot dog zombies, chicken zombies, all sorts of zombies here in Joe's Zoo. So I'll be seeing that tomorrow. But anyway, we've got these smells to test. Not, when I was inside the attraction, I said that one of the best things about it is the realistic smells. Everything you see, you can smell. Now, I think these, are these the, the smells that are associated with it? So these smells are used all around our, our attractions and uh, not all of them are for in here. We've got some for insomnia, some for love hurts. So there's flatulence in there, which has got to go into our sewage scene. Okay. So you've got some candy floss in there for the clown maze. And uh, yeah, you, you, you've got an assortment there. Okay. I, I'm... Should I try them? I already know everyone's going to say you've got to smell them, but <laughs> I've heard that some of them can make you sick. Um, Bucky, you smell one you, you didn't like. So we're going to go through them and smell them all. <laughs> Let's do it. Right, so which ones have we got? Uh, uh, does Olivia, would you mind filming for me, please? Absolutely. Welcome everyone to Hillbilly Joe's Zombie Gift Shop, and I have some smells to try today. Well, me and Bucky have some smells to try. Uh, some of these are nice. We have, we have a candy floss flavour. But we also have rotten egg. Uh, just, oh, I, I don't know how you can tell you, I'm going to read them out, but they are disgusting. So, <laughs> who's going first? Well, we don't even know what they are either. Yeah, I know. We, we faced them the other way, so we can't actually. Right, let's we pick have one. to guess what they are. Let's pick this one. Right, okay. okay. You sniff it again. Yeah, I'll give it a sniff first. Right? <laughs> you sniff it first, and you guess, and then I'll have a sniff. <coughs> Is it that bad? Yeah. I've, sm I've smelled that yeah. one before. I it goes right in the back of your throat. Rotten egg. Yeah, that's the rotten egg. egg. Oh, that's the <laughs> rotten egg smell. It's. I can smell it now. It's yeah, you can. Still it smell smells. It, it smells not like stink bomb rotten egg, but more like like a year out of date rotten egg. It's, yeah, that one's disgusting. Oh, I've smelled it. So we got this one next. Yeah, that's the rotten egg. I'm not quite sure what that is. It smells like, uh, like, uh, it smells, oh. it smells like a, a fart spray. It smells like crap. Fart spray, isn't it? It smells like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put a little on that. I'm going to have to go with, What's it with, uh, with feces or some stuff. Flat, 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 yeah, yeah flatulous. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I can smell it. Basically, that stunk. <laughs> That's what it smelled like in that it's toilet. It's making my nose run. It's <laughs> making my nose run. Right, you pick Fuck next one. Right, I'm going to pick this one. Right, you ready? I'm hoping this is a nice My one. My senses must be not, not that strong because I can only just smell it. But do you know? I can smell it from all the way in the back I, of the room. See, I'm not, that, I can't think that I bad. don't like. That's <laughs> why I Fun fact, fact you can only smell four cents before you start to lose your scent. You're, you're meant to sniff co um, uh, coffee beans. Now, coffee beans reset your palate completely so you can then smell smells properly again. Fun fact because I like candles. <laughs> Random and all. Uh, oh, that's. Nice. 
Oh, that very stinks. Brown. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what it is. It smelled like a mixture between rotten yeah, egg good. and 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 flatulence. That's not like that one. Right, what is, is it? Mixture. That, oh, that's oh, a burning plane. Plane. Burning plane. So what does that? What does that actually mean? Burning? It's like oil and. Oh, is it? Gasoline. Yeah, it goes in. Love hurts in the grinder scene. Oh right. Okay. Yeah, so wow. maybe it might smell a little bit different when it's when it's gone through uh, the uh, the smell device. That's what I'm going to call it. Well, I mean, you got straight pure. But yeah, when it's un untampered with. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, it's yeah. concentrated for me, it does <laughs> smell very nice. That one. I like that one. You like this one? Like yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Mm. It's the candy floss one, isn't it? Oh, that, that smells one? good. <laughs> that actually smells yeah, really nice. <laughs> that's really good. It reminds me of like um, Blackpool fur. Yeah, yeah, candy <laughs> floss. Yeah, I really like that one. Let me have it. The smell in this room is so bad. <laughs> Bro, you've got to go through this next. No, I ain't doing none of this. You've got to. Uh, Why are you going to hit any other room while you were getting set up so you didn't invite me on? Pick next one. Uh, right, I'm going to go right, through this There's only that one sweet one in this, isn't there? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Uh, we don't know. This is, this is it. <laughs> we don't know. Oh, this oh, one's black. black. It smells. It smells more. It smells more like um, a really strong tar, like um, like tar almost. Oily tar. I know it's got like a burning wood kind of. Yeah. Smell to it. What is that? Victorian street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old, yeah. old wood. It does, that's what it smells like. It's almost like you've got sewage in the streets, but you've also got that burning wood smell from the from the uh, fires, fires and, and stuff, yeah. Yeah, and the tar. Like, it's all tar on as well. Oh, yeah, it's your gut bucket for this one. It's a blank one. I know it smells, it smells sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells like, like a lemon scent. Mm. Like a lemony fresh. Yeah, it smells, that smells it? nice. Yeah, fruity sweets. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, nice. I've always one. smelled that. I can smell like the citrus. Yeah, like sherbet. <laughs> I picked two of the good ones. So oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pick this one. The lighter color one seemed better. Like that one looks that's like a murky. Yeah, but this one looks quite clear. So I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, I'm right. It doesn't smell too bad. Smell. Almost. I don't. I don't. Can't quite pin it. it smells like a fresh toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Bleach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, like it's just like a like you got a toilet duck. I can't tell what it is. What is it? Cookies. Cookies. I don't. Well, 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 that could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that could, that could, that <laughs> smells like a toilet, but yeah, yeah no, but I, I didn't. I didn't really smell the cookies, That's but I smell. I smell something. Oh, really? It's like a a perfumey kind of smell. Really? Yeah. Oh right, right yeah. So it, it's clear, a clear yeah. kind of smell. Yeah, I can smell the aftershave. Yeah, it smells like a cheap man down the pub. What is it? Heather Pete. Heather, Heather Pete? What, what is that? that? Oh, it's oh, Pete. Santa Meadows. Yeah, the forest, the meadows, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can definitely smell that. It smells nice. Yeah. It smells fresh, doesn't Why it? Why do you, you pick so many good ones? <laughs> <laughs> I think the we worst... still have to smell it though. What, what do you think the worst one was? I think the rotten. No, yeah, the rotten. The, the, the feces, feces one. Yeah, one, yeah. Yeah, the flash one. No, I, I didn't like the rotten egg one. It smelled like, and that's it. I can't deal with that one. It made my nose run. It was that bad. Um, but yeah, these were the scents that used around the park. So now there's not just this maze. There's numerous other attractions around the park. Uh, you'll see those on the next episode. Now, my parents always laugh at me when I go to some of these places. For example, we was in Japan. We was in the cafe. They, they couldn't stop laughing when they watched that video and I was petrified. When we was in Romania, it was at Dracula's Castle, in the attraction down below where I was getting scared, they laughed so hard at me. Why don't we bring them here? We should do an episode next time where we bring them here and scare the life out of them. Leave me a comment right now. What do you think about that? If you hit that like button, if I see like 2,000 likes, I'm gonna know you want me to bring them. And I'm gonna bring them here and terrify them because I know my mum She'll probably scream, fall over, and just lie there if a guy with a chainsaw comes running. So it's gonna be it's gonna be comedy you, gold. You, you scare her in cars. I know. Like, there's something there and you're like just when I've got to put my her. foot down, go around someone, she's like pinned to the seat, she's like, oh Daniel, no. <laughs> so imagine her being chased by a chainsaw. And my dad as well. My dad's all this, oh I'm big and brave, but let's see how brave he is. Leave me a comment below and smash that like button. Wait, wait, uh, come come back, Team Fires. I need your help, don't leave me here. Please! I, I, I'm dying! They've got me in this thing! <sighs> 
So guys, that was an absolutely amazing place. I mean, I love my scurry stuff. I love my Halloween. So this place to me is, is amazing. But right now, special interview. I'm here with Andy. Now, Andy created this. Now, what kind of mind does it take to create this? Oh, wow. I mean, I, I'm a storyteller. I've been a storyteller since I was a kid and I love going to theme parks. I love entertaining people. And, and sometimes the best thing you can do is live entertainment where you can see people's reactions to what you're doing. So, um, it's just creating stories, creating real atmospheres and putting people into situations that could happen day to day. And uh, I love doing it and seeing reactions. It's good fun. I mean, for me, uh, that would be the perfect job, creating something that just strikes terror in, inside people, but also is enjoyable. I guess it's quite a fine line between super scary and enjoyable. How do you kind of separate the two? Yeah, well, what we do at Scream Fest is we, we entertain people. Um, I, I'm an entertainer at heart, we don't traumatize them. So all of our stories, we take people to a level, we make them laugh and then we bring them down again so they come out having a good time. I mean, some of them do slip by every now and again and then we have the odd panic attack, but uh, most people come out having a good laugh. And that's what it's all about, it's creating good, fun family moments that when times get a little bit bad, they can look back on this night. You remember that time we had out with their family and our friends and we had you laughed and Dad ran away from that chainsaw? That's what we're doing, we're creating memories um, through horror. I mean. <laughs> it's funny you say that because one of, one of my memories is, is going to one of these scary attractions many years ago and I remember they were saying I would never go back to one again and my parents were actually in Benidorm and they went to this haunted house in, uh, near the Funfair and there was a chainsaw and they said they would never go back to a place like that but I'm going to bring them back tomorrow so what, what attractions here would you recommend me yeah. taking my parents to without giving them a heart attack? Oh, okay, so we've got we've got the clown maze, which is freak out. I mean, there's lots of clowns walking around in there, and you can get lost in curtains. Um, we've got the 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 the, uh, the 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 maze out in the cornfield, but that's got chainsaws in it. This one's got a chainsaw in it. Insomnia is good because it hasn't got a chainsaw in it, but it's got nightmare creatures in there. So, do you know what? I, I think just bring them, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll we've, we've got we've got people on standby if they need to get them out. <laughs> okay. Now, one of the most interesting things about this place, and it, it feels like such an honour, Andy has been following the channel for uh, uh, quite a while, and Josh, and the team, yeah. and this place was actually inspired by my videos. I mean, how cool is that? It's an abandoned warehouse, factory, waste, Victorian factory, and it's inspired by our videos. So how did you come up with the idea from my videos? So. Watching your videos, I mean, um, like I've said to you, you know, when you when you've had a, when you've had a, had a bad day, you come over and watch the YouTube videos, and you go in to explore all these different places with all the stories that could happen in it. I was watching one of your asylum ones, and um, with all that, the the wind coming through and the window smashing or the drain, I thought, do you know what? We could create a story around an abandoned sewage factory where this professor had got these creatures in doing weird experiments on people and taking inspiration from that and allowing people to go on that adventure because no one gets to do all the stuff that you do all of the time yeah. so being able to build something inspired by that where they get to come into an abandoned building and walk around it with all these creatures that you might bump into on one of your <laughs> adventures one day um, it totally inspired me to do something to put people into that world that, that you live on a day-to-day -day basis. Amazing. It was absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie, some of the times my imagination runs wild. When I go to some of these locations, I imagine you know, some of the craziest things. So for example, uh, an abandoned asylum, I imagine some of the old patients have gone back there and they're just, you know, waiting for me. So this is kind of, kind of my visions into reality. Uh, which makes it even more strange, but um, yeah, it's such an honor, absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for inviting us down pleasure. and uh, and giving us free access to this place. It's absolutely absolutely pleasure. pleasure. Looking forward to seeing your parents. Oh, no, <laughs> I, I, I'm not looking forward to the reactions. Well, maybe the reactions, but when I get home, I think I've had it. So, yeah, if you enjoy stuff like this, you've got to come over and check it out because I'll be here now and again. I, I've got a free run with this place, so I'm going to be coming here and getting a skirt every now and again, so you might even bump into me. And make sure you go and follow Screenfest on Instagram. Uh, no, you're not constipated. You're, you're, you're getting chopped up. Yeah, I'm shouting. Really loud. Go on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a typical smoker dying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <this is> <laughs>